Very strong man to wear actually the trousers, but yet uh, not to dominate me. In a world dazzled by Tina Turner's indomitable voice and electrifying stage presence, a quieter force played an equally pivotal role in her extraordinary life. Meet Irvin Bach, the German music producer who won Tina Turner's heart and brought her the personal happiness that eluded her for decades. Isn't it often the case that behind great luminosity lies a rock, steadfast and unyielding, that doesn't need the limelight to shine? As we unravel their intertwined lives, let's ask ourselves, what does it take to stand by a force of nature like Tina Turner? Come along as we delve into the truth about Tina Turner's husband, Erwin Bach. Tina's early life and first marriage, setting the stage. If you ever tune into a Tina Turner hit like Proud Mary or What's Love Got to Do With It, it's tempting to see only the glamorous icon who took the world by storm. However, the spotlight doesn't show you the rocky path Tina traveled to become a global phenomenon. Born as Anna Mae Bullock in Nutbush, Tennessee, Tina was light years away from stardom. Abandoned by her parents and raised by her grandmother in a town with limited opportunities, she had little going for her except for a voice that could shake the heavens and a will of steel. Ike Turner, Tina's first husband, brought her a complicated blend of opportunity and hardship. Ike was no slouch in the music industry. He was a band leader, a music scout, and a man with a knack for recognizing talent when he saw it. He offered Tina her first platform, renaming her and featuring her in his band. The two became a musical powerhouse, delivering electrifying performances and raking in the hits. But behind closed doors, their relationship was a turbulent, abusive nightmare that Tina had to navigate for years. Ah, you might ask, why did she stay so long in such a toxic environment? Well, life is never simple, is it? Rooted in a matrix of emotional manipulation, control, and yes, even love, Tina's decision to stay was complex. But she wasn't just enduring, she was planning. In 1978, she left Ike, forfeiting all claims to her songs, her stage name, and even their shared financial assets. She ventured into the unknown, armed only with her voice and indomitable spirit. Tina's life is a story of transformation, the hardship she faced, both in her early years and in her turbulent first marriage, forged a resilience that made her one of the most enduring artists of her time. And so, as the curtain rose on Tina's second act, she wasn't starting from scratch. She was reclaiming her narrative. The serendipitous meeting and airport in Germany. In a narrative as captivating as Tina Turner's, it's fitting that her meeting with Erwin Bach could be described as nothing short of serendipitous. Airports are typically zones of transience, bustling with people coming and going, rarely a setting for life-altering encounters. Yet for Tina and Irvin, an airport in Germany became the birthplace of a love story that would span decades. Tina was already a revered musician by the time she crossed paths with Irvin Bach, a German music producer. They met by chance, but as Tina would later recount in her 2020 memoir, Happiness Becomes You, a guide to changing your life for good. It was an emotional connection that was felt almost instantly. Isn't it intriguing how life sometimes puts us exactly where we need to be, even if we don't realize it at the time? Here was Tina, a woman who had endured so much yet still carried herself with an enviable mix of grace and grit, meeting a man who would soon become the light of her life, as she often said. And Irvin, a successful music producer in his own right, couldn't have known how meeting Tina would enrich his life in countless ways. He was not starstruck, rather he was Tina-struck, captivated by the woman, not just the icon. This chance meeting wasn't just about sparks flying or the chemistry that's so often exaggerated in Hollywood romances. This was about two souls connecting in a way that is both rare and beautiful. In Irwin, Tina found someone who finally made her feel loved and cherished in a way she had never experienced, not even from her own family. Her previous life had trained her to be cautious, to protect her emotional core from further damage. But with Irwin, Tina felt an emotional safety that allowed her to be vulnerable, to open up, and to invest herself fully in a relationship. I left my comfort zone and made it a priority to get to know Irwin, she wrote in her memoir. The connection was so potent that Tina decided to listen to her heart, a choice that might have seemed risky given her past. After all, what guarantees are there in love? Yet, as she would often remark, it was a gamble that paid off tenfold. 
That simple first meeting led to a long, beautiful relationship and my one true marriage, Tina reminisced. It took a unique man to win Tina Turner's heart. Irwin was never intimidated by my career, my talents, or my fame, Tina wrote. How refreshing it must have been for her to find a man who was not threatened by her success, but instead thrived on it. Irwin himself was no stranger to the music industry. He had a distinguished career, working with renowned musicians like Pink Floyd and Lenny Kravitz. He had a keen understanding of the challenges and pressures that came with the limelight, making him uniquely equipped to be Tina's emotional rock. He wasn't there to ride on her coattails or steal a fraction of her spotlight. He was there to support her, to love her, and to be loved by her. Erwin Bach, more than a husband. In the public imagination, Erwin Bach often plays the role of the supportive spouse to Tina Turner, the larger-than-life queen of rock and roll. But to label Erwin solely as Tina's husband would be to do him a disservice. He's not just the man behind a legend. He's a legend in his own right at least in the circles that know what it takes to make great music. So who is this enigmatic figure that won over Tina Turner and stood by her side through both health and sickness, for richer and for poorer? In the music industry, Erwin Bach enjoys a reputation as a credible and accomplished music producer. Long before he met Tina, Erwin was already making waves in the music world. He served as a divisional managing director for EMI Germany and worked with iconic artists like Pink Floyd and Lenny Kravitz. Can you imagine the gravitas and expertise you'd need to hold your own while collaborating with such titans of music? This man was not just a plus one at red carpet events. He was an influential figure with a storied career that commands respect. Irwin had the rare combination of business acumen and creative intuition. His portfolio is a testament to his versatility and deep understanding of what makes music resonate with audiences. This isn't a guy who got lucky. He's someone who understands the nuts and bolts of musical production and artist management. To be blunt, he was successful and self-made before he ever met Tina Turner. With a net worth estimated at $200 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth, Irwin was more than just financially stable. He was a heavyweight in the industry. And then there's the aspect of his personal character. In a world where fame can often breed egotism and jealousy, Irwin's relationship with Tina was refreshingly free of such toxic elements. Here was a man who donated a kidney to his wife, embodying the marital vow of being there in sickness and in health, in the most literal way imaginable. Such an act is not merely a grand gesture, it's a profound commitment, reflecting a depth of love that many can only aspire to experience. But what makes Irwin truly exceptional in Tina's life is his comfort and confidence in letting her shine without feeling overshadowed. He shows me that true love doesn't require the dimming of my light so that he can shine, Tina noted in her memoir. How many people, especially in the competitive world of showbiz, can genuinely revel in their partner's success without a tinge of insecurity or envy? Irwin does just that. He stands beside Tina, not behind her, providing emotional and practical support that allows her to flourish. The kidney donation, a testament of unbreakable love. When most people talk about grand romantic gestures, they often think of cinematic moments, running through the airport to confess love, or perhaps a flash mob marriage proposal in a busy city square. However, Irvin Bach's gesture of love towards Tina Turner surpasses all traditional paradigms. He gave her a part of himself, quite literally, in 2017, when Tina was in dire need of a kidney transplant, Irwin did not hesitate to offer his own. This act was not just medical compatibility, it was a testament to an unbreakable emotional bond. Imagine the gravity of this decision. Organ donation is a complex and serious medical procedure with risks for both the donor and the recipient. The thought process leading to such a decision could not have been trivial, and yet for Irwin, it seemed to have been a straightforward choice. Why? Because when you love someone as deeply as he loved Tina, the well-being of that person becomes your foremost concern. In his mind, there probably wasn't a debate or dilemma. There was only a partner in need and the means to help her. Donating a kidney is also an emotionally profound way to demonstrate interdependence in a relationship. When Tina received Irwin's kidney, their lives became irrevocably connected in the most intimate way possible. They shared not just a home, laughter, and years of companionship, but actual biological life. As Tina put it, Irwin became the light of her life. And what better way to illuminate that sentiment than by literally giving a part of himself to keep her alive? 
What makes this act even more awe-inspiring is that it came after decades of togetherness. Often, as relationships mature, the grand gestures taper off. Routine and familiarity can replace the impulsive acts of love that define a relationship's early days. But here were Tina and Irwin, defying that stereotype, renewing their vows in the most significant way imaginable, not in a ceremony or through a renewal of rings, but through an operating table, surgical lights, and a life-altering transplant. If you ever need an example of love not just surviving but thriving in long-term relationships, look no further. Irwin's career, a force of nature in the music industry. While Irwin Bach will always be intimately connected to Tina Turner through their remarkable love story, it would be a disservice to overlook his independent accomplishments. Long before he became known as Tina Turner's husband, Irwin was a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. This man, a German music producer who commanded respect in his professional sphere, has a fascinating story that too often gets overshadowed. But let's set the record straight. Irwin is not just the man behind the woman, he's a man beside the woman, with a legacy that's compelling in its own right. Irwin Bach has enjoyed quite an illustrious career in the music business, a realm as turbulent as it is glamorous. His journey began with his role at EMI Germany, where he served as a divisional managing director. Overseeing projects and managing artists, Irwin earned his reputation as a sharp and perceptive executive. He displayed an uncanny ability to recognize talent, trends, and opportunities, cementing his place as a significant player in an industry known for its fickleness. Do you remember hits from Pink Floyd or Lenny Kravitz? Well, you may not have known that Irwin had a role in those, too. He helped produce music for artists who, like his wife Tina, have left an indelible impact on the cultural landscape. When you think about it, it's fascinating to consider how he played a part in shaping the soundtrack of several generations. While Tina's voice filled stadiums, Irwin's business acumen filled record stores and playlists, often with music from artists who would come to define their respective eras. It's somewhat easy to overlook the man standing next to a global superstar like Tina Turner. However, consider this. How many people could confidently stand beside such a massive force in entertainment and not be eclipsed? Irwin's career gave him a stature that could withstand the monumental fame of his spouse. Irwin, who is a force of nature in his own right, has never been the least bit intimidated by my career, my talents, or my fame, Tina wrote in her memoir. Think about that for a second. How many of us could genuinely say that about our partners? Love and Light, the true love story we rarely hear. In the annals of love stories that permeate the celebrity landscape, we often find melodrama, scandal, and heartbreak. Yet the love story of Tina Turner and Erwin Bach diverges from this conventional script in a profound way. It's not just a love story. It's a story of redemption, self-discovery, and how two souls, each extraordinary in their own manner, illuminated each other's lives. So what sets this love story apart from the tabloid tales we're so accustomed to? Simply put, it's a tale that exemplifies how love doesn't require the dimming of one's light, but rather creates a radiance that allows both individuals to shine brighter. You see, Irwin and Tina were both at stages in their lives where they had their fair share of experiences, both enchanting and challenging. Their meeting wasn't a youthful, impulsive collision, but a mature, intentional connection. When Tina met Irwin at a German airport, it wasn't just their physical paths that intersected, but their emotional and spiritual journeys as well. It was a serendipitous event, yes, but what followed was a conscious choice made by two people to explore what they sensed could be something truly special. I instantly felt an emotional connection, Tina would later reflect in her memoir. And isn't that what we all seek? That elusive connection that feels preordained yet entirely unexpected? Their relationship blossomed not as a frantic whirlwind, but as a gradual, enriching revelation. For Tina, who had come out of a tumultuous and deeply scarring relationship with Ike Turner, Irwin provided the emotional sanctuary she had long yearned for. Their love story was her vindication, proving that a painful past didn't have to dictate a joyless future. How many of us have wished for a second act in life where the pain and struggle transform into love and understanding? Tina found that with Irvin, and in doing so, she reclaimed a part of herself that she might have thought was lost forever. For Irvin, Tina wasn't a celebrity spouse to be paraded at social events or an illustrious feather in his cap. She was his partner in the truest sense, offering emotional depth and vibrant companionship. Now, isn't that refreshing? 
In a world obsessed with form over substance, Irwin recognized the invaluable essence of a woman who had faced unimaginable challenges and emerged stronger. We are the light of each other's lives, and we want to shine as bright as we can together, Tina acknowledged in her writings. Such a sentiment, coming from a woman of Tina's repute, lends credence to the idea that love should be a mutual endeavor of endless enlightenment. Interestingly, they didn't just enjoy the sunshine together, they weathered the storms as well. Irwin's kidney donation to Tina wasn't just a medical procedure, it was a poetic expression of the kind of enduring, selfless love that most people only dream about. How many of us would be willing to give a part of ourselves, quite literally, to illuminate the life of someone we love? As the world mourned Tina's passing in May 2023, it became evident that her legacy wasn't just musical. It was deeply personal. Irwin's tribute to Tina won't just be through words or memorial services. It will be through the life they shared. A life that taught Tina, and through her, all of us, that love could indeed be simple, pure, and profoundly illuminating. The Financial Reality Combined Net Worth and Estate Planning in an industry where fortunes can fluctuate faster than chart-topping hits, Tina Turner and Erwin Bach managed to not only secure their financial future, but also craft a legacy that transcends mere numbers. Now, who among us doesn't fantasize about such security, especially when paired with a fulfilling personal life? When you're as successful as Tina Turner, who had a net worth estimated at $250 million at the time of her death, financial matters aren't just about paying the bills. They become a part of larger discussions about legacy, impact, and how to protect and distribute amassed wealth in a meaningful way. Tina Turner's financial standing is well documented, but what about Erwin Bach? Before you mistake him for just another celebrity spouse, consider this. Erwin has a net worth of his own, estimated at $200 million. Working with iconic bands like Pink Floyd and artists like Lenny Kravitz, Erwin was a powerhouse in the music industry serving as a divisional managing director for EMI Germany. Don't you find it intriguing how two people so accomplished in their own right found not just love, but also an economic synergy in their union? It dispels the age-old narrative that one must necessarily be the breadwinner, steering the household's financial ship, doesn't it? It's not often that you hear of a couple with a combined net worth that rivals small corporations, but there it is. Money can be a complicated topic in relationships, often igniting tensions and tearing couples apart. But for Tina and Irvin, who both had flourishing careers, their significant wealth seemed to only cement their partnership. It was as if their shared success in their respective fields enabled them to better appreciate each other's talents and triumphs. And let's be real for a moment. Who wouldn't find such mutual respect and admiration attractive? Although Tina had two biological children who unfortunately passed away before her and had also adopted two of Ike Turner's children, her estate planning became a topic of much speculation. The terms of her will remain undisclosed, but planning has reportedly been in place since 2021 to prevent any family disputes. Irwin has yet to release any statements about Tina's passing, and while the specifics of how her fortune will be allocated are not yet public knowledge, Irwin is seen as the most likely beneficiary. It's a fortune built not just on music, but on the resilience, strength, and sheer will of a woman who rose from difficult circumstances to become a global icon. In Irwin, Tina found someone who was neither intimidated by her success, nor intent on outshining her. And isn't that what we all secretly, or not so secretly, yearn for? A relationship where mutual accomplishments are celebrated, not weighed against each other? Tributes and Legacy, What Tina Left Behind, and Irwin's Role in It. If you're ever going to talk about Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll, you better know that she didn't become a music icon or a tale of resilience overnight. You can't start the story with her glamorous gowns, sultry voice, or even her rapturous dance moves without first mentioning the rocky road she traveled to get there. And by rocky, I don't mean it was paved with stone. I mean it was riddled with hardship, from poverty to domestic abuse. Tina was born Anna Mae Bullock in Nutbush, Tennessee, a small rural town where opportunities were as sparse as rain in a desert. Her childhood, like her town, was bereft of glamour. Abandoned by her parents at a young age, she was primarily raised by her grandmother. Though life gave her the short end of the stick, Tina always had music. It was the balm for her wounds, the vent for her frustrations, and eventually the ticket out of her humdrum life.
Her first marriage to Ike Turner, the man often credited for launching her career, was the epitome of It's Complicated. Ike was a multi-talented musician and band leader who recognized Tina's extraordinary talent. He became her mentor, music partner, and husband. Sounds like a dream come true, right? Wrong. As promising as their professional relationship was, with hits like Proud Mary and Nutbush City Limits, their personal life was a private hell. What many saw as a perfect music couple was a facade hiding a turbulent and abusive relationship that Tina endured for years. Why did she stay? Ah, the age-old question often lobbed at women in abusive relationships, as if the fault lay with them. The truth is complex and rooted in a cycle of control, manipulation, and fear. Tina, who had been handed rejection and hardship from an early age, saw her marriage as yet another thing she had to endure. But even in that abyss of emotional and physical pain, she harnessed the energy for a tremendous leap of faith. She separated from Ike in 1978, stepping into a world of uncertainty. I was living a good life, a famous life, Tina once said, but it wasn't a good life. It took enormous courage for her to walk away from the name Turner, which was practically a brand by that point, and start anew. With debts, zero claim to her songs, and a tarnished reputation, Tina was, ostensibly, back at square one. But here's where it gets interesting. She was not the same anime Bullock who had married Ike. She was Tina Turner, a woman who had experienced the lowest of lows and had mustered the courage to aspire for the highs. There's something rather poetic about Tina's early hardships and her first failed marriage. They became the fertile soil from which a stronger, more resilient Tina would grow. She took the lessons, the scars, and even the name Turner and repurposed them into tools for her second act, an act that would not only dwarf her first, but also become one of the most captivating comeback stories in the annals of music history.